Hi everyone, this is Crafty Decoria. I hope everyone is doing well. So today I'm back using my Dollar Tree items that I already have on hand at home as I'm trying to stay in as much as I can. And today I'm going to be making a centerpiece. And this centerpiece, I'm gonna be using it in my travel trailer as I just want something a little bit different on my table. This is going to hold my salt and pepper shaker and my napkins, and it's also going to be a decorative piece that I can enjoy, enjoy and change out seasonally if I choose to do so. So all of the items in front of me are from the Dollar Tree with the exception of the Valspar paint and primer in black. Now I do like to keep it all Dollar Tree, and for that I normally would use the black acrylic paint from Dollar Tree, but to get the project done a lot quicker I usually just use the paint and primer from Valspar I also have two of these ceramic candle holders I love these ones here I have two of the bamboo cutting boards four of the house decor boxes four of the smaller decor square boxes that have the little circle that's raised in the center again these are the smaller ones because I know that they have a bigger size but um, I'm using the smaller ones. I have one wooden crate and I also have this activity paper pad that I love. This is from the Dollar Tree. You get 30 sheets and this is just um, paper that looks like faux wood and it comes in three different colors. So you have the red, uh, the white, and then the taupe brown faux wood. So I love this. I love using these pads for various projects. Um, this, I did use this pad when I did my other Dollar Tree using these wooden decor houses here. Um, I'll post the link in the description box if you care to see that video. But I think for today's video, and this is just another option if you can't find this paper pad, um, you can use the Dollar Tree bags and this is a two pack you get two bags so the one is cherries and then the other side is this red and white buffalo check and that's what I'm going to be using for this DIY so that's just another option and I also have some E6000 glue and some hot glue and that's it so without further ado let's jump into this tutorial I hope you enjoy Okay, so to begin the DIY, I'm going to start off by gluing my candle holders together and I'll use the E6000 glue for that. So the way I'm going to place them is I'm going to turn the one upside down and then place the other one directly over top. So that is how it will look once they are glued together. Then I'm going to go ahead and take all these pieces outside and spray paint them with the Valspar paint and primer. Now again, if you want to keep it all Dollar Tree, go ahead and use the acrylic paint from the Dollar Tree. When I use the acrylic paint, I usually like to use the Mod Podge from the Dollar Tree to seal and protect my pieces. I'm also going to be spray painting these square decor boxes and the wooden crate. Okay, so all my pieces have dried that I spray painted and they look great. So I'm gonna go ahead and start gluing the candlestick holders to the two bamboo cutting boards. Now I'm gonna be using E6000 glue for this because anytime I'm gluing anything ceramic or glass to the bamboo or a wood item, I like the E6000 glue because it is a much stronger bond. If I had to use my hot glue, then the piece would come apart much easier. But I do get a nice bond with the E6000 glue. So I've just centered my candlestick holders on top of the bamboo cutting board. And I'll glue that on there. And then I'll take my second cutting board and then center that on top of the candlestick holders 
and then glue that as well. And this way, by the time I get to gluing my pieces on top, the bottom part here will already have had time to dry. Now, usually I can get away with using just the hot glue for these type of decor boxes, um, gluing it to the house decor. But knowing me, I will add that little bit of E6000 glue just to make sure that it stays on there nice and secure. I'm ready to work on my house decor pieces. So I've already gone ahead and removed the little ornament that sits inside of the box here. And they came out fairly easy. You just rock it back and forth and it should come out. Then I also went ahead and cut up my gift bag. So I have a few scrap pieces there and I'll be using the front and the back of the bag. I also went ahead and traced one of the houses on this piece of paper to make a template. I measured the width all the way around the house and then drew that on my template. So now I'm just going to cut out this center piece here and this way I can trace that onto my gift bag, cut them out and then place them inside of the houses. I forgot to mention that you will need some Mod Podge and I'm just going to be using the matte. These are from the Dollar Tree as well. They have the matte or the glossy finish, but I'll be using the matte for today. So I'm gonna go ahead, trace them, cut them out, and then Mod Podge them to the inside of my houses. Now I'm going to take these square decor boxes and I'm going to glue them inside of the house decor pieces. So just add a little bit of hot glue, a dab of E6000 glue and just lay it inside that bottom ledge of the house so that it sits like that. Okay guys, so here is my Dollar Tree Farmhouse Centerpiece 
and I absolutely love this little centerpiece for my travel trailer. I think it is the perfect size and I just love the black with the bamboo. I think it is so sharp looking. Definitely farmhouse and then of course the addition of the red and white buffalo check to really warm this piece up. This is definitely a piece that I will be using more so for the fall and the winter as it goes with the red but I do want to change it up in here a little bit for summer and of course I will be doing that with lemons so I will definitely be trying to work on some DIYs for some lemon decor but for now until I get to that point I will definitely enjoy this piece and I love the addition of the baby's breath in the center so this is definitely a piece that I can change up seasonally with seasonal flowers or greenery leaves all that stuff as the seasons change but I absolutely love it you can see here I added the Dollar Tree tea light candles now these were the same tea light candles that I used in the other DIY where I used these house decor boxes but I didn't have any more so I wasn't gonna go out and get them just for the DIY I figured I'd just throw them on here and turn them over to the other side but they fit perfectly and also the old Williamsburg candles a lot of the Dollar Tree candles will fit in these little decor boxes as well however I personally choose to use the LED flameless candles just for safety purposes and it just lights up the area um, just as nice and if I want to definitely I could add some uh, potpourri or um, little stones whatever just to give it a little bit more um, just to fill in that box but uh, during the day if I want I could definitely add some birds to each of these boxes because every time I see these houses to me it just reminds me of a bird house and I guess adding this little box just makes it feel more that way as well but I think it's super cute and I love how on the bottom a uh, bamboo cutting board I can house my salt and pepper shaker as well as my napkin holder so it's functional in that way as well it's just really the perfect little centerpiece for this little space and when I want to move this as this will be on my little dinette here I just pick it up from the candle holders and it moves everything in one piece so I was going to show it off here to begin with, but because of the window in the background there, I figured the lighting wasn't as good to see the piece, the center piece, uh, as well as when it was off over to the side. But I just love this piece. I think it is so pretty. It adds a little bit of farmhouse to the area. And again, I will be able to use this piece all year long, changing it up seasonally. So guys, that will do it for today's Dollar Tree Craft With Me DIY. I so hope that you enjoyed this. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Share the video if you can. It greatly helps my channel. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I would absolutely love and appreciate it if you did. As always, guys, you take care of yourselves, and I hope to catch you in my next video. Bye-bye.